butt. Like, I literally have no butt. I have back fat that literally passes for a butt, but I do not have a butt. My butt, like, literally goes in. I'll just show you right here. But my stomach literally is like my front butt, which a lot of people say, and I'm not even mad because it's kind of true. And I'm not mad because that's just who I am. Companies, if you're going to be a bigger plus size model and you're going to go audit or go to auditions for casting calls and things like that, you need to at least fit the hourglass stereotype. You need to at least have big boobs, a big butt, and a, and a like no hanging waist. You need to have like kind of a flat tummy, which is sucky. Stella Williams is an American social media star, an accomplished actress, a producer, an author, model, and a successful business owner. Her social media career exploded in 2020 after a meme went viral body shaming her. After being widely bullied, she continued to be kind and positive about the issue. Her success in modeling plus size fashion and advocation of body positivity is fueled by her confidence and resilience. The success that she now has was not just handed to her, she had to fight for it and stay strong. When Stella kickstarted her career in modeling and acting in 2015, she came across many challenges as a plus size model. She was rejected and let down many times. There were times she would apply for plus size modeling gigs from companies that sell clothes of her size, but she would get rejected. Stella found it heartbreaking that companies who sell plus size clothing do not accept all kinds and sizes of plus size models. It is strange that they do not want to work with people that they are serving. Her consistent positivity is driven by her fans and those who compliment her from time to time. At the beginning of her modeling career, when she was off to a photo shoot, dressed up nicely she bypassed a stranger who said something she will never forget the random guy just said yes girl slay these words stuck up for a while in stella's heart she was motivated by the kindness she had just received the birth the positivity movement has been gaining momentum and empowering men women and non-binary to take a stand against the outdated norms Stella Williams has been fighting the good fight and not just for herself but for everyone who may have came across discrimination because of their body type and size. Challenging the beauty industry in how it markets and views body outside the long-standing standards in an industry that is constantly changing. Body positivity pushes for the acceptance of all bodies regardless of their ability, size, type and gender or sexual orientation or even race and its appearance. Stella Williams has been a feature across all social media platforms for about 5 years now. She has since adjusted her content on YouTube to include health topics and her very own series that aims to help and educate those lacking confidence in the bedroom. Over the years, she has lost a little bit of weight and she is now size 24. Despite her success, she has had to watch people bullying her. Some viewers calling her out for her extra large plus size frame. She has been fat shamed, called a whale in a bikini. At some point, people were calling her out saying she is the wrong kind of a plus size model and suggested that it would be better if she would lose some tummy weight. Until recently, Stella Williams has been very much against weight loss surgeries and products. But it seems that she can no longer do that anymore as she is suffering from health issues caused by her weight. Her body has become unhealthy, she is developing blood clots, her heart is not doing well, and the chances of her being a mother are being compromised. And I was that changed me completely because one of the key things that happens with people with PCOS is infertility. That's like the number one thing that can happen. This is where I get emotional because I really, really, really want kids one day. Um, and I have always been like, I'm going to have a plus size pregnancy and... 
I'm going to carry a kid. Plus. Like, I just wanted to be that girl. I wanted to be the girl who had a healthy plus size pregnancy and everything was cool. Starting to like give myself the opportunity to say yes to it. And that took therapy. So my therapist is actually someone who suggested that. He was like, let yourself say yes real quick. Because I was like, I'm not doing this. Like, I'm not doing it. Um, and he's been with me since September. Yes, real quick. And he's like, what do you feel? And I was just feeling like a lot of angst, <laughs> a lot of like, like a lot more emotionally. And he was like, what do you want? And so this is where I started like separating like my career from me. And I tell him what I want. And that's when we have a conversation. We keep, that's in, like a continuation. Like the whole basis of us is like, I want kids, but I want to be healthier enough for them. That's why I'm here with you today. And it just went back to the conversation of like, what do you want more than anything? Kids. All right. What's stopping you? This, 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 and this, what are you going to do to fix it? And I was like, damn, like it really is that easy. Um, but obviously my career is a very big, you guys are the biggest part of my life. Like right now I live for this shit. Like I love making videos. It's such a conflict of interest, I feel. And then, you know what? I kind of been dipping my feet in the water recently on YouTube. And I'm like, my vlog channel, I let them know I'm getting surgery. And I let them know straight up. Oh, okay, so I posted a video yesterday and then breaking point for real like for real for real i had some other issues that were always fixed with weight loss i feel like that's always a doctor's go-to for when there's an issue and i started this whole journey since january and it's been very very stressful it's been stressful hearing from so many doctors your weight your weight your weight having to reintroduce these diet cultures that i've expelled from my life back into my life it's been a struggle for me emotionally to live my purpose while also needing to like in my private life, just like diet culture, I guess. I get emotional about it because for so many years, I've just been like, you can be healthy at any size. And I've genuinely felt that. And I still do feel that. I feel like you can be healthy at any size. And just so we're clear right here, yes, my blood clot was provoked by birth control, but it uncovered the hereditary. I don't feel like anyone should ever have to get to that point. Well, all I'm really trying to say right now is like, I'm about to start a weight loss journey. I'm not going to document it on YouTube. If anything, I might mention it on a vlog channel. I'm still against diet culture. I do not believe in it. It's fucked me up. I do not promote it. I will not be a flat tummy tea bitch. I will not do your beach body fix. I will not do your 21 day cleanse. I'm not going to do it and I'm not going to promote it. So if you're watching this as a company thinking I'm going to do that, it's not going to happen. I'm not going to take your weight loss pill. I'm not doing it, but I do want to be very open right now. For the next three months, I have to be on a super, super aggressive weight loss plan. And I feel like a lot of things that I feel about who I am as a person are going to be tested. If I really don't hold this much weight in how I look at my appearance, then it really shouldn't matter. At the end of the day, if I lose a couple pounds, if I look different, um, it's like a test on my own character. Will I be able to stay true to who I am? But guys, life has never been more real than this year. And I'm just going to do it. My doctor's and people YouTube and I'm like, my vlog channel, I let them know I'm getting surgery. And I let them know straight up. Oh, okay, so I posted a video yesterday and then people were like, oh, you're loving your body, but you're about to get weight loss surgery. Isn't that like a contradictory thing? Aren't you just a traitor now? I'm like, no. At first I felt like that for months since January. I felt like that. I'm like, I don't need the biggest traitor. And I couldn't understand. Like I've been working with my therapist about like me and trusting myself. And he was like,